last time on La Mulana. We got the fairy clothes. We got the axe. We got the music software. emusic.exe We scanned another thing in graveyard. We translated some more stuff. We hung out in birth chamber. We talked to Mulbrook. And we lit up Chamber of Extinction. So, lots of things. My... Hunch... Gut... Is telling me... That... I mean, I feel like I need to find the Ankh and the Ankh Jewel probably for Chamber of Extinction. That's what, that's what my gut is telling me. How to do that? Something about the clue where if the Guardian is not in the front, it's in the back. Uh, so that's where we're starting. I think yesterday I spent a lot of time just wandering around Chamber of Extinction and wandering around Birth Chamber and kind of going back and forth between the two, so... Ooh. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Like, I don't think it's a puzzle of... walk from the front of the dungeon to the back of the dungeon... I don't know. I don't think it's that. Walk back and forth without warping. Or maybe it's none of that. <laughs> okay, that's my recap. How did I do? <laughs> Can I identify several reasons to stay in the world of Bloodborne? Only one, the doll. Okay, now I'm back at the front. A large crucifix lies beneath the land beyond the guard of God of Destruction. The large crucifix shall summon Palenque. Okay. I think I'm ready for my nudge. will be different. Is it a riddle? <laughs> Hi fishies, welcome in. How's it how's it going? It's not from any of us, it's a a nudge from Mulbrook. Wait, okay, don't tell me yet. Oh, not this version's Mulbrook from Classic? I was like, let me read my Mulbrook notes again. Okay, fine. I'm ready. From a later port. Interesting. Was Mulbrook in classic? I don't know. You want to knock over a tilting pillar. Just push it over. If a pillar is tilting, you got to put some pressure on the top. Or else put some weight on it and make it easier. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Wasn't in classic. Okay. Uh, cool. Then let's go to, um, this. That's a very helpful clue. <laughs> that would have been nice to have. Oh well. Wait, that's not how I get to that. Interesting hint they added to later versions. I dig it. It's so funny which things are like incredibly cryptic and which things are go to this place right now. I don't understand exactly the logic of why they spell some things out. But, you know, it's a puzzle game. Yeah, the fairies unlock it, exactly. 
that was a really cryptic clue. This, <laughs> this corner, the ice physics in that corner every time make me, make me laugh. Why does this rock look weird? Is it just because it's getting hit by this enemy? I don't know. I'll let the fireballs be free. This means I gotta go through the sword stuff again. The ninja's gonna get me. It comes from the left. I gotta remember that the ninja comes from the upper left. Okay, here it is. Giveaway details? What? What? Why is that on a timer? There is no giveaway. Please. <laughs> Please ignore human helper. <laughs> I didn't set that on a timer. Oh, you mentioned the word. Okay, let me turn off that command really quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot I had it as a keyword. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so helpful, human helper. Thank you. As long as we keep lore. We're definitely keeping the lore. So I gotta put a weight at the top and then push it over, it seems like. It's not letting me press down. Maybe I'm not pushing the right spot. The issues with the fairies unlock it is that it can be in the room uh, if you haven't done stuff elsewhere. Hmm. There's another Spalder clue. <laughs> We've got enough of those already. I'm pretty sure I tried rolling a bomb over the top of it already. What about a shuriken? Oh, here. Come over here. Come on. I for forgot about the first step of fairy clothes since I kind of do it automatically. The fairy clothes are cool. How do I get you to come over here? Enemies, you can't kite enemies in this game. Oh. And I didn't die? <laughs> That's generous. I was so happy you got axe and fairy clothes. Me too, and I love the axe. You're supposed to grapple it? Oh, that's, okay. That's a thing that can be done in this game. Grappling, I haven't used it in a long time. There's a mural, there's a chest, there's an eye, there's a switch. None of these skeletons want to talk to me. This is Shiva. No, this is Parvati. 
Let me start a new page. Mural of Parvati, wife of Shiva. Parvati. Anything else going in here? Should I just go ahead and hit this switch? I hope this is the map. No, I don't know. Maybe it's the jewel. No! Wait, there's a, um... There's a clue about this. Don't flee. Hmm. Well. <laughs> I don't I don't like that that's the clue. We're facing the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> but there's a clue with the spikes on the ceiling. Where it's like women don't like men who run away or something to that effect. Let me go find it. I should have paused and went and looked for it. Be prepared for death. Women shall not yield to he who flees. Overcome with courage and wisdom. Indy, welcome in. How's it going? Ladies love a guy who gets impaled by spikes. Typically. We have four and a half minutes till our stretch break. Um... Here's what I'm reading. That's definitely the thing. That's what I've been doing wrong, not getting impaled. Yeah, you're missing the, the key. The secret is clearly the spikes. Well, that was fun. So all I gotta do is tip the pillar over again. That's not too bad. Going well, thought I should pop in. Thanks for popping in. Hope your Tuesday is, uh, I don't know, easy, not stressful. As good as any Tuesday can be. We're having a good time getting impaled by spikes over here. Bird. Oh, ninja's in a different spot. Blue. That still hits me! Great! It's turning more and more into the only saving grace of this area is... the curry song. <laughs> I forgot how to grapple. Okay, we're back! What are these little, like, wheel things up here? Surprised this eyeball isn't mad at me. Oh. What the heck? You to go through meetings, but I'll be lurking. Thanks, Eric. Good luck with meetings. Tuesday is Tuesday. Yeah. Same. Alright, I should pause before we try this again.
Parvati, let me, let me read really quick the clues I have about Parvati. Oops, hang on. I pressed the wrong button. Oh no. Oh god. That was weird. Multiple personalities is sometimes the god of war. To assuage her anger, thou must get down on the ground and pray. That's goddess of mountain and goddess that loves blood and war. Maybe we have to pray. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna seize this ad. I don't want to leave you hanging. But I don't know what to do here. I think that's kind of the point. If you don't, is fleeing the spikes or is fleeing running away from the switch? Maybe I'm supposed to press the switch and not run away. We could try it. We could try it and just rule it out, and then we'll go on our stretch break. That doesn't do anything. Then we got the Wululu again. I gotta stop using the axe. It probably doesn't like me trying to attack the walls either. This room is awful. Okay. Really good experiment. Let's take a break. I hope you had a good break. I know it's kind of right in the middle of the action, but not really. Because I don't know what to do here yet. We're back. Hi, Jovial. Welcome in. How's it going? No, 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 get out of my way. I hate this because I, there's not a ton of like walks of shame in La Mulana, surprisingly. But this one is pretty bad. There's the one in Inferno, which is the worst one. And... There's probably some really bad ones if you don't get certain shortcuts, actually. Spring in the Sky, that like waterfall area that I kept falling down in, that's pretty annoying. I don't know, they definitely exist, but... I don't- I just don't know that there's a good way to do this one. No, I still got hit somehow. Evil, evil, evil. I mean, not somehow. I still got hit. <laughs> Surprise fish entrance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fish in the very beginning of Waterfall. Or, I mean, Spring in the Sky. That one, too. Aside, on top of, like, the... The waterfall that's on the way up to the boss fight. Spring exists and they knew it was annoying. There's a one-panel comic. I know! Um, I saw it! After I finished some more of that area, Petrie shared that panel. This area just has so many projectiles. Where's my little stabby stabby? This is terrible.
Stop shooting stuff at me. It's annoying. Okay, let's take a little nap. Okay, napping doesn't work. Okay, the mural does change. A mural of Kali depicts, oh, the Didi Kali. Goddess of blood. Alcohol. And battle. Sounds like a good time. Blood, booze, and battle. Okay, so like, is reading that help me at all? I'm trying to pray. I stand motionless? I don't know why I keep doing this. Maybe we just gotta have it go and then warp out of there. I just assumed there would be something else to do. I mean, reading the mural was cool. Change it to blood, booze, and brawl. Suddenly we have a medieval tavern experience. Yeah. Oh my god. Ugh. The, the swing on this. Cabbage, hi, welcome in. How's it going? It's good to see you. Okay, I did pretty good that time. Not to jinx it or anything. The mural doesn't change until I go in front of the thing. I could warp out here. I kind of want to... Hmm. I feel like I have to trigger the thing falling in order for the chest to open. does let me warp out. Well, we didn't save over it, so... Do I really need to go to the puddle? Yes. What kind of a question is that? And back to here... to fall down here. 
Oh, I almost got hit with those spikes. That was terrible, too. Okay, let's see what happened. I wonder if it just resets. Try to keep an eye open for like changes. Maybe all the murals change. Those, those ones don't look different so far. It does reset. I mean, that's only fair. I guess. That's my escape route. why I think that's ever gonna do anything. It shows, like, a pedestal on top of a pedestal. Like, this is what I drew. It's like a weird little tower-looking thing. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. That was it? Okay, bye. Terrible. Just randomly pressing down, like, the pedestal button because it showed me a picture of a pedestal. Yeah, okay, sure. <gasps> Clay doll. Obtained woman statue. A woman-shaped doll. Okay. Just like the picture, I guess. <laughs> Combinates, how are you? La Mulana has taught you well, it looks like. Has it? from Spike Trap. Okay. Get me out of here. Zelpa, look what I found. Bye. <laughs> I need to buy some weights. Zemarath, welcome in. We just got the woman statue. The ultimate goal is um, defeat the eight bosses of the eight different sections. But there's more than eight sections, so you have to figure out where each boss is. And then you have to find the item to unlock the boss once you find out where they are. That's like the general goal. Get all the treasures, read all the lore tablets. Eat all the curry.
Why are we defeating them? Because mm, someone told us to. <laughs> Hi, Kazuka. Welcome in. The Guardian stuff is like super, super early lore. And it basically just tells you there's a lore tablet in Gate of Guidance that says there are eight guardians, eight onks, eight onk jewels. Let me find it. I don't really know. Because it gives me something to do. <laughs> Would you kindly defeat all eight bosses? Yeah. We're trying to... I mean, it's kind of like, it's a puzzle slash exploration game, so you, part of the purpose is figuring out why you're doing all this anyway, and figuring out how all these like hundreds of characters fit together in this story. The lore that the game gives you when you start the game is the mother fell from the heavens. There's a picture of like a, co a comet, a meteor, whatever. And, uh, a long, long time ago, she fell to Earth, and she made children, children, which was, like, different eras, societies, but when they angered her, she destroyed them. So we're learning the lore of these eight different societies, and trying to figure out, like, the giants are a huge part of this game, and they were making a tower to put her back into the heavens, but it didn't work. It's it's this like really really cool intricate story where you're t still figuring out all the pieces as you go along If they didn't want to be killed their souls shouldn't have been door keys. Yeah, and like you can't you ha you can't get to them all right away So in order to progress in the game you have to defeat them There's also the father not a mythological creature just our dad he shows up sometimes I'm trying to find the tablet in the Gate of Guidance that talks about it, but it's pretty- oh, yeah, it just says eight onks, red light, onk jewel. These are my paraphrase notes before I started writing everything word for word. Guardians slumber in the onks, shatter them under bright red light. So it's basically telling you inside of each onk. There's a guardian sleeping. In order to fight them, you have to bring a red jewel to break the Ankh open and wake them up. It would probably do me some benefit to go back and read some of the, like, earliest, earliest tablets, yeah. Anyways. Uh, I was gonna see if I need more of these. Oops. We're running short on cash. Now we gotta go see Mulbrook. Anytime we get a major item, we gotta go say hi to her. Okay, this isn't new. That's the same clue she gave us last time. This just ruined- What's going on in here? Is this confetti or- <laughs> Lots of progress! Hi 8, welcome in!
<laughs> totally normal. <laughs> Confetti. <laughs> Confetti. I'm not gonna show you the journal picture that goes with this room. <laughs> wait, wait, I missed the text because I pressed it too quick. What did it say? No, I didn't mean to press A. Got something statue. Confetti and something else at all. What about your pun? Oh, ruined your day. It went right over my head, highly. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hmm. Open the item screen. Okay. Okay. Why miser? Hello, welcome. La Mula nerds. Yep, we're at it again. Here, let me show you this picture. If you're not if you're not in on the wink wink nudge nudge joke about what's all this confetti, let me remind you that there is I'm about to go into a room that has a giant mural of a uterus. And somewhere in the game is where is it? Did I even draw this? I might not have drawn this one. Here it is. <laughs> this. What's that? What are those? Alright, anyway. A statue shaped like a pregnant woman. Use it with the item button to unlock a certain seal. Where'd all this confetti come from? I like that it's rainbow colored. Wholesome. <laughs> oh wait, my chat stopped scrolling. Gave me another item to hold up and show people. Woo -loo 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 -loo. I should probably save. We're supposed to sleep here. Sleep is our clue. Okay, we're taking a nap. Hmm, interesting. Hey, it worked! Ooh! got an instrument philosopher's ocarina hey ocarina what do I do with this chiseled from stone it belonged to the four philosophers <gasps> yay hi raffle iron welcome in Hi, C3s. Please welcome in. The chest is fully open, so we don't have to use a weapon to hit it and get hurt. I need to save my game. This is Philosopher in the Moon Temple. Oh my goodness. Song of Storms. I know now we can play all the songs I've learned along the way, which is none. I commend you for reaching me, chosen one. I am El Sedana. One of the four philosophers, four fills. Philosopher of Death. Okay. Fun. I will reveal to you one of the mysteries of the ruins. Reveal mystery. 
If this is another clue about the uh, Spalder, <laughs> we got some lore. It's my boy Alsadana. Wait, Alessandra. Are there multiple spellings, or I'm just reading it wrong? Famous last words. I know why mine's there. Hi, Jiggly. Welcome in. It's such a good track. Yeah. Finally, we can go into these rooms and something happens. It's the story with the survey. Oh yeah. Um, our friend. Eric, former mod for the channel, is doing master's research, so that's that's the story. He was here earlier, but he had to head out for some meetings, so if he comes back, you can ask him. Might have mistyped, could have sworn it was Al Alessandra. That's like me and Mulbrook. <laughs> We've long slumbered to, the, to grant the mother's wish. The mother descended to this land from the sky. Um, the sky. We do not know where exactly she came from, but the mother wished to return. The mother had lost her ability to move, and so gave birth to many children. This is the origin of humanity. Mankind was born to return the mother to the skies. Lore! This track is really cool. The gong is cool. Humans. This is the origin of humans. Mankind born to return mother to the sky. They gain knowledge in these ruins, departed to the world outside, and search for the means to take her back while themselves thriving. Yes, these ruins are the mother herself. Interesting. Oh, gained knowledge in these ruins. Then departed to world outside and searched for the means to take her back. Driving. This is a lot. It is impossible to send the mother home to the skies. If her wish cannot be granted, the best we can do is give her eternal sleep. This is lore. GG Awakening Philosophers, thanks. If her wish cannot be granted, the best we can give is eternal sleep. Okay, if you say so. Oh, I didn't mean to click it again. We're stuck in a loop. 
I only wanted to repeat it the once. Chosen one, set the mother free from her sadness. This is our only wish. Dang! Hi, Fenrings, welcome in. Just got back from mental health appointment. That's awesome. I'm doing better today than I was yesterday, yeah. The dialogue loop! We have so many philosophers to talk to! Let's save. You know what we're doing? We're going all the way all the way back to 1-1. One -one. Philosophers and clay doll or I guess woman woman doll. All of a sudden there's so many things to do. Oh, I feel kind of bad saving over my first ever save. Let's do 1 2. <laughs> what if you need to go back to 41 seconds? That's 41 seconds? I might. <laughs> I got sentimental about it all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't remember what any of these saves are until we started writing them down somewhere at like 2 3 or something. Anyway, let's go. Oops. Forty-one seconds after the one time you started the game and worked out how to save, yeah. Cause it took me a minute. It took me a while. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of writing, huh? Is this gonna be the same? No. Spring. This is Gil Torio, philosopher of knowledge. Sup, Gil? <laughs> Sentimental about it. There's a shiny new game button. Get there super quick. No, no, specifically those forty-one seconds. The mother failed time and time again. The first children could not see for what the mother truly longed, wanting only her powers. The second children destroyed in the civil war of the giants. Children... Could not see mother's longing. Wanted her powers. Second children destroyed in war of the giants. Third were only interested in their own powers. The fourth were a race of men in the form of fish. Huh, interesting. This is heavy, yeah. There's a lot to it. Oops, third. I already wrote third. Only interested in their own powers. form of fish. Fifth sought secret to life and death. A 
Oh, right. No, I skipped it. Ugh. <laughs> Streamer fails. Uh, too many were made. I'm gonna run out of room anyway. A war that extended all the way to the surface. After some time, we, seven children, were born of the earth. Okay. I need to know, I need to flip over. The chat bubbles are broken again, really? Hi, Zote. Welcome in. I don't know why they break. It's happening a lot lately. I really like them, but I feel like I might have to switch just because they break too often. Uh, We came to know these ruins... Through and through, ultimately realizing that we would not be able to grant the mother's wish. Thus we gave no memory of the mother to ye, the eighth children. We believe that only those who perceive the mother as ruins could truly defeat her. Interesting. The mother's flesh spans the whole of these ruins. It is considered impossible to defeat her. You must attack her soul. Summon the mother's soul here and force her to take shape. The technique has been laid out for you. Hmm. I'm going to have pencil all over my hand at the end of this. Summon. Mother soul. Here. Force her. To take shape. Technique has been laid out. Oh wait, I don't need to go back to this page yet. It is a hidden technique that we the seventh children created. I shall tell thee how it is done. Is this the mantras? Oh, it's the wedges. Drive eight wedges into the mother's body. T. 
take the Dejed pillar and Magatama jewel in hand. Oh, it is the mantras too. In hand and recite the mantra. Has been inscribed upon the markers. Drive the witches from the heels. Okay. I missed the second page, I think it was. No. It was this one. Once again, begetting a power hungry race. Six children were dolls of clay made by the fifth children. Okay. Please, chosen one, our wish is to set the mother free. It's worth noting you can go back and see them as often as you want. Oh, thanks, fishies. Yeah, I was figuring I'm, I'll put as much in as I care to, but with paraphrasing, like if I want the exact wording, I figured I could either look it up or just come back. Zelpa gave us TLDR of this in 10 to 15 hours in. But this is cool. We've got another one. No. Samaranta. Oh, there's something permanently lockable coming up? Okay, thank you, Petrie. Don't tell me what it is yet. But maybe once we get closer, you can help me figure out where to make my save files. Without... Revealing too much. Philosopher of Power. The mother's soul sleeps within the shrine of the mother. That is where the last Ankh lies. Uh, the last red light will reveal its true form. You who have traveled through these ruins, your strength will put the mother to rest. We, the four philosophers, have been blocking three paths. My path has been opened. Oh. You're fine to save now. I mean, I have a save like right before talking to these, or maybe when I talked to I talked to the one in the moon temple, and then I saved before talking to Spring in the Sky. So, I guess, yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Um,
four philosophers have been blocking three paths. Mine is now open. Seek Phobos and Gilterio for the other paths. Okay. Phobos is the one that I don't know if I know where they are. Cool. Go forth on your path, chosen one. Oh, neat. So now... Well, whatever. Let's go check it out. That thing has so much HP. Oh, this is the room I couldn't get to. <laughs> Remember that? Remember when I was so concerned about this being a breakable wall? Scales of the heart. So if I... want to go back to a point before I climb this ladder, I will have to talk to the philosopher again. Which I'm fine with that. I want to climb it. Scales! This is cool. I need to grab another um, map and then actually too many papers. Button through the combos once, but then make sure you pay attention to when it says, do you want me to repeat that? Oh yeah, and there was still a puzzle in one of the other rooms that I haven't figured out. Well, there's a lot of puzzles in a lot of the other rooms. But yesterday we were I started out focusing on the pink outlined rooms. And there was one that I got to that I had no clue how to proceed, so... I don't want- I just don't want to forget about it. Chase Tower the Goddess. So this is here. Scales of the Heart should already have a color. Can I go read that or... Those who seek power prove thy knowledge. If thy spirit is balanced and just, the power shall be granted. Spirit is balanced and just the power shall be granted I feel like this is my I, I'm hoping this is my favorite puzzle of the whole game because I spent so much time writing down things about hearts and colors and weights. I don't know if I'm ready for it right now though. What happens if I go down here? So you can press that to decide which side it goes to it seems like. I can go to the right, too, it seems like. Can I examine this? No. 
Fascinating. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, this is open now. Wow. The tablet's gone. The switches are gone. I don't like that. so silly <laughs> thanks for telling me it was coming that's horrible <laughs> like I I knew if we how to phrase this if I didn't know that was coming I knew I saved when I got a key item so that's important so I probably wouldn't have done too much more There's a hidden way to reset it. Oh, interesting. But like the whole game, you read tablets and you go, okay, do I want to do this room now or do I want to do this room later? It's just, it's just silly. It's just unnecessary. I don't know. I guess unless like, don't tell me, but maybe there's a meaning to it later that it'll explain why you only get one shot. Okay, cool. Not great for gaming. <laughs> Even if there is an in-lore solution. The whole game is a setup for this one moment. So actually, we don't even have to reset to the the, lo the load. We just can hit continue and end up back at tower before talking to the philosopher. A tablet in the room right before that says you better be ready. Oh, I don't... I don't know. Maybe. I I do have the disadvantage of reading tablets pretty much one time, writing it down, and then not often remembering like exactly what room they're associated with. So <laughs> that helps. That's that's the downfall of note taking is um having it in like text format but not in location context format a lot most of them i know what like area if they're in spring in the sky if they're in tower of ruin if they're in whatever but i don't always know i don't often know what um room they're in so i can go let's just science it again we're falling we're falling Ooh. Staircase. Ah, oh, I need to have a quick save with the hand scanner. After the ascension, foothold. Okay, this is different. He who possesses wisdom wields the ultimate power. When the two are in balance, power will be thine own. Aren't thou all-knowing? If thou deem thyself ready, proceed to balance the spirits. It would be much more effective if all it says was, are you ready, then proceed. But the fact that it has all this other stuff in it is like... Yeah, it's not at all clear that it's irreversible you get one shot at this room. But it does, I mean, it is some kind of a suggestion. Yeah, the ladders are cool. That's a different sound effect. Okay, I wanted to science out, um, wait, does it hurt when I hit this? No. It just hurts when I get hit by enemies. Leaving this room and re-entering the tablet is still there. It's kind of like the tablet with, um... 
the eye monster in Endless Corridor. The chain whip puzzle is more clear, yeah. That you only get one opportunity. Okay, so now, safe word, I'm I'm good to save my game again and just ignore that room for a little while. The devs like to say I told you so as many times as possible without actually being useful. Good to save. Thanks, Petrie. Um, I'm gonna look at some of my maps for a second. It would be so intimidating to say, are you ready? Yeah, that would be so much more like, whoa, what do you mean? As long as you don't read the tablet without solving, you're good to save. Perfect. I'm gonna do a quick scan through these for philosopher symbols because I tried to write them down when I saw them. Yes. Thanks for yes. the follow. Welcome yes. in. Yes. 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 Uh, we were talking a lot about Adventure Time today. We have a few Adventure Time alerts. Moonlight has a philosopher in it. We went to see them already. Illusions. Does Illusions have a philosopher? I don't think so. Graveyard. Oh, Tower of Ruin has a philosopher symbol, a big one. But not a door that I've been able to find. Excited about Fiona and Cake spinoff. It's finally happening. I feel like I heard about that ages ago. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Yes. <laughs> Um, uh, repeat of the bit with the hard mode tablet with the one about only proceeding if all-knowing would have been clear. Oh, yeah. That would have helped. Like, only read the tablet once kind of- I don't- uh, yeah, I don't remember how it's phrased exactly, but that one- that one was very clear to me. Read this once and never read it again. Remember when I came in here and tried to, and tried to talk to all the dancing ladies, even though I had no idea what what was happening? We're gonna take our break in about four minutes to. Oops. This room has the symbol. But I've never found a door in here. And this is the room with the invisible enemies. Stop it! And the eyeball! Wait! That was weird. It seemed like something made contact behind the thing that I hit. I don't think so. Maybe there's an invisible weight here? No. Okay, we're gonna go back to the save. We're gonna take our break, and I will see you very soon to figure out where the last philosopher is, maybe.
or do something else. Uh, what were we doing? I was getting attacked by lightning. I feel like that made a weird noise. Does it always make that noise? Yeah, I think the fairies always make that noise. I'm well broken. Well broken from break. Here's a door. This is a shop door, right? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, come on. <laughs> the hardest shop to get to. Oh, you can buy bombs here for 110. Expensive bombs and flares. Flares are normally like 35, 45. Those were 50. Okay, let's keep looking. This is the most suspicious spot, though. Look at it. How was I going through these? Graveyard? No. We already looked at this one. Was I pulling them from the back of the pile to the front? Maybe. Shrine of the Mother? I don't think has one. We could go back there and hang out. Labyrinth? I don't think has one. Labyrinth does have that one door that I've never been through. I also wonder if now that we have the birth doll thing, if we can use that in the birth chamber. But I don't think we have a symbol for death, but we have a symbol for life, maybe. I don't know. Mausoleum of Giants, I don't think has a philosopher. I don't think anybody. Spring in the sky does. Does the surface have one? Maybe we go talk to Zelput again. And then back to Endless Corridor. Okay. We love getting key items. And then returning to talk to key people <laughs> who don't help us. Ooh. Puddle. I'm pretty sure Mulbrook is going to tell me the same thing too. My other goal is get the last, um, Holy Grail tablets. That's important. Oh, nice. Ocarina you have. Isn't that the Philosopher's Ocarina? Maybe she'll tell me where the last one is. 
Does he only t comment on comment on them if they're equipped? Oh, does he tell you that? I forgot if he tells you tells you that. Philosophers are finally awake. My rule here may soon come to an end. Oh, <laughs> That's it. Tell me more. The game doesn't tell you that, but once he said, if you find something, come and show you. That's not implied. Yeah, I remember that. If you find something, come and show you. So I keep going back to see him when I find key things or like do key things. But I didn't think that it was equipped when I went to see him after I found whatever it was that I found. Ugh. So I don't think I've talked to him about any of this stuff. No. He doesn't care about that. He doesn't care about that. What a strange key. Really weird. He cares about that, but we already knew what to do with that. It's literally the infinity and eternity... <laughs> Zelpud, why? Hey, hey, the woman statue. Her belly looks swollen like she's pregnant. I ain't into married women. Okay, bye. I don't remember what he says about Pepper. Nothing. You're so annoying, Zelpud. Okay. Now I want to go to birth chamber. Amethyst, hi, welcome in. Weird key, TT, welcome in. I'm gonna call you Ruick instead. Is that okay? Because we have a TT. But I see TT and I automatically read it. I don't know. What would you like to be called? If I showed him any of this stuff, I'd be really encouraged to keep showing him stuff. <laughs> you showed him the pepper, he asked to borrow it for curry. That was a while ago. Um. Where's my other... Chamber of Birth map. I made two. I can give up my TT? Ruik is good? Okay, thank you. TT, what would you be called if you weren't TT? I mean, I think I know, but like... I know it's not trash. <laughs> Dang, this is getting out of hand. Where is this one? Oh, found it. Oh, that hurt my neck. I'm trying to get to the one where the, it has this. So to get to that, I go to um, this place. Why bother? So can I use this? I'm afraid to use that room as a shortcut 
I don't feel like it's that much of a shortcut anyway. But I think you can as long as you don't read the tablet, it seems. You can answer that. But I'm going the long way anyways. I'm too scared. It's all in the tablet. Why would they make such a terrifying room? I also don't think we've seen any other murals of any other women, but um, I'll have to think on it. Love the music in this place. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, Jungle Rapa. Welcome in. Ninja! Oops. This tablet I would like to acquire, please. Please. Okay, I have a quick save at that one spot. What happens if I use these here? Nothing. Nothing. I didn't mean to hit the elephant. Uh, let's fall down. Oh, I don't even need to go to the right, I don't think. What is this one? This is birth. Okay, let's try it. Yay! And then I have a clue somewhere that says... That which continues without end, it is birth, it is death. Which, this hallway continues without end, so maybe we use the birth thingy in both places. If I can manage to jump across this hallway, which I never seem to be able to get, get it right. Nope. It's the worst. It's literally the worst room. Wait, I haven't gotten hit yet. No, no, jump down before you get hit. Oh, that one didn't work. Oh, but there's a portal. Oh, there's always been a portal here, I think. Okay, let me make sure this didn't work. Okay. Where does this go again? Back here, okay. Got stuck in the falling chamber so many times. It's it's rough. Kelgent has it going. One million tablet dollars cash or card. Women cultivate life. Men put their lives on the line to get women. Oh, beyond the many corpses of woman weights, that's the key about pushing like the pedestal. Where the corpses are, I think. That's the clue that finishes that puzzle. The room name is appropriate? Ah, oh, I don't know it yet. Don't tell me yet. Damage causing you to fall forever is one of the meanest and funniest things in the game. <laughs> it's so weird. Going well, I hope you and chat are having a great Tuesday. Thanks. It's going okay. Making good progress. Still feeling like... Ooh, wait, there was a death symbol up there. Still feeling like I'm never really making any progress. It's 
death symbol. Hmm. Oh, I wanted to go back to the spot this is annoying i wanted to go back to the spot that has the the skull which i think was right above me but i forgot maybe but even if that's oh we're gonna die important oh i don't know what i would do with it Okay, now what? We... We... What, now that we've got the woman statue... The sound of the ocarina may only be heard by a woman with child. We got the ocarina, and we got the woman with child, so I'm not really sure... What's happening there. Um... Other than I think we finished it. There's also the clues from, like, way in the beginning where... Stuff about the woman shall be with child when within the man. We got- we did that. We brought the statue inside of the t the pyramid. A meeting of men and women. Inside the man, the seed of life is born. Inside the pyramid, where we brought the woman statue. So, all of those multiple clues were leading us there. So I don't know that that tells me anything else. We we just got so many clues and lore from the philosophers. But that seems like later. It doesn't seem like I need to do those things right now immediately without having finished the Ankh Jewel stuff. We need to find Palenque. Or we need to do the scale puzzle and just try it now. I don't- I can't think of anywhere else to bring the, the women's woman statue, you know what I mean? Bring it to the mother. It is a mother and we bring it to the mother. Clues do you have for the scales? I have 
a few. I will show you. It's not an unreadable tablet anymore. Um, numbers, but not every number. But we have Joyful Heart is 0, Eloquent Heart is 4, Sincere Heart is 5, Blissful Heart is 6, Pure Heart is 7, Passionate Heart is 8, Affectionate Heart is 9. Every heart has a weight. We have Joyful Heart is Pearly White, Eloquent Heart is Black, Sincere Heart is Purple, Blissful Heart is... Pure Heart is White, Passionate Heart is Red, Affectionate Heart is Blank. One of these I have, I think it was... Passionate heart. There's like a clue about sapphire. Oh, here. Passionate and affectionate. So passionate I filled in for red. Affectionate heart I'm assuming is blue. But I didn't fill that in yet. And then eloquent black onyx. Which fits here. Amethyst. Purple amethyst. Sincere, five, purple, sincere, white diamond represents purity, the meaning is infused in the gemstone, pure heart is seven, pure heart is white, so that's what I have. I don't think I have, I have like, um... It's not... I have some drawings that were on those same tablets as well. I could go back and look at them. Would probably be better because my doodles of them aren't super detailed. This one. Yeah, and here's where I wrote down, every heart has a weight. To progress, we need to solve puzzles! Imagine. Imagine solving puzzles in this game. I miss Broad Guy. That was a simpler time. We can go try it. And just make sure here's my, you know, save file. This is 1 3 heart scale attempts. It definitely feels like something I will enjoy doing. I just don't like that it's irreversible. But, you know, that's why you save first, I guess. I just kind of want to, like, play with the room a little bit and see what other outcomes we get. Like, that first stone that I saw, I couldn't tell if it was blue or if it just looks blue because all the lighting in this area is blue. If they didn't want you to save scum, they wouldn't have made save files. Yeah. I, it's not even save scumming if it gives you files. Save scumming to me is like save states and emulators like right before certain moments and stuff like that. Anyway. We'll go ahead and we'll mess with it. I wish I could tell what color this was. It looks purplish, bluish, white.
Yeah, I guess there's not really another word for it. You're right. Saved scum is... what we've got. Looks like every color game. Why? And I can't scan it to see if there's extra info. There, It is a certain shape. I guess it would have been good to go back and read... Um, Look at that diagram again. But like, I don't remember. I don't know. It's an orange topaz. Looks, uh, yeah, really, really orange. Let's see what happens. Okay, now it looks white. Is it white? Don't answer this. I wonder if it's white or it's pearly white. I also wonder if this is, like, timed. If it's white, it's... Pearly white is joyful. Joyful is zero. Just regular white is pure. Pure is seven. Oops. And I weigh 61. Okay, so this looks black to me. Um, opal isn't one of the options. Not one that I have, but I do get... Options... Like, I have black onyx, purple amethyst, red ruby, blue sapphire. So maybe there's a tablet somewhere else with opal on it, I don't know. The fact that I have white diamond and not, like, it makes me think this is pearly white because white diamond is purity, maybe pearly opal or whatever is, I don't know, is zero. Okay, so black onyx, eloquence, eloquence is four. This is almost- this feels like, um... What's the game? Blackjack? Where you're like trying to guess what is gonna come next and you're gonna go over or under? Let's just put it to the right just to see what happens. That looks like an amethyst. So we've got four over here. Probably zero over here. Amethyst is Sincerity. Sincere Heart is 5. So we could do 4 and 5 and make 9. Or we could do 4 on the left, 5 on the right and see what else we get. What numbers do we have left to, to play with? If we get... A blue sapphire next we get affection that's nine and then it'll be balanced but then are we still gonna get more stones after that I don't know if I bank on getting if we got four and five and I bank on getting six seven eight nine there's got to be one from each age, right? So I got to predetermine in my head, like, okay, we're going to get this number of children, this number of stones. What can I do to balance them out ahead of time? Anyways. Math. If I do go for 
9 on the right and 9 on the left, can I make that work with what's remaining? I don't think so. Mm. Oh, because we could do 2 and 1 and 3. What am I missing? 6 at that point? 6 and 8? No. I don't know the maths, just the minerals, yeah. I'm I'm a am I a visual learner? I don't know, but drawing out a diagram of it helps me more than like boiling it down to the actual math of it would. What was the game? I mean, Witness was a lot of just, uh, I could look at this panel and try to figure it out with rules, or I could just go by feel and try it until I go, oh yeah, yeah, this is gonna work. <laughs> I feel like for nine, if we have nine, do we need to put eight and one as the counterpoint? Oh, and set, okay, I gotta do this. I gotta make like a little checklist. Vibes is a valid puzzle solution, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we do 9, 8, and 1, but we can't do like 7, 6, and 1, so we could do 7, 3, and 4. We could do... No, but then I've run out. That pairing isn't good. We could do 7... Five and two. And then you're left with six, four, three, and zero. I don't think this is a good way to go about it. I think I saw this puzzle on a TV show recently. Can somebody give me the TLDR of the puzzle? Uh, I'm trying to balance two sides of a scale. I guess I could show my notes again using this information. So each, there's going to be like a gemstone that shows up at the top. Each gemstone is associated with a word. Each word is associated with a color and a weight. That's the TLDR. And now I'm just doing chicken scratch in my notebook to try to figure out number combinations. And to see and to see if I can save it, because I already started the puzzle and then I kind of was like, oh maybe I do actually have enough info for this. I'm not I'm not sure whether I do or not. Do we have to use all of them? So they come down one at a time and each stone as it comes down, you have to decide left or right. There's no button for pass. I don't know that they will all come down because this is the first time I've done it. So I could do it once just to cycle through and confirm whether or not this happens. But like, I think it's kind of fun to try to try this before I see how many there are. Balanced with one waiting and stop there. I haven't done it enough times to know whether or not that works. I'm guessing no. But, I mean, I could set it up so there's one left just to science it out. If we do 9, 6, 3, does that give me a better shot at this? Well, that takes away the opportunity for six and two 
four, five, and three. We could do eight, seven, one. But then we've got five and four. Go step on the scale in solidarity. Obsidian rules. We've got a three gallon container, five gallons container. You need to put exactly four gallons on the scale or the bomb goes off. That sounds drastic. Hi, Magus. I don't think doing one for one number combos is going to be the answer. And right now I've got nine, no, four on the scale. I think zero on the scale on the other side because there's a stone that's zero. But it's hard to tell the color of these. <laughs> and um, the next one in line looks like five. Wait, not a nine. So if I put five over here, that would be something I would have to balance out later. You know what I mean? Nine, five, and four. Did I try that yet? Eight, seven, and one, or six, and two. Seven... Three, wait, oh, I'm so bad at this. Yeah, I, I'm assuming there's going to be a one, but there were no notes on the weights for one. I, could, I mean, I'm just trying to, like, try a solution on my own first before I cycle through all the stones to see what I get. So if I do this possible number combo and then I cycle through and it turns out there isn't a one, then we'll find that out after I try something. We, um... We don't have any... I don't think we have words or colors for them either, so if it pops up, I won't know what it is, I don't think. Now I'm just in it too deep and I'm curious if this even has a solution, you know what I mean? Can you make eight with the ones remaining? I don't know. I don't know if it works with those. If it doesn't give us those, then... I feel like that's even harder because, I don't know, it just is. Okay, so now if I take, hang on. So far this game has had none of this type of puzzle. It's all been like, cryptic clues telling you where to go next and what item to use. This type of puzzle is, hang on, let me do this off to the side real quick. Don't judge me. <laughs> it 
So it probably isn't all of the numbers because, I don't know, it just, I know it's bad to assume, but the whole game talks about all the ages. But if you add all the numbers together, you can't divide it in two even parts. So let's try, let's try the ones we've got. Four plus five plus six, wait. Four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine is thirty nine. What is that? Wait, do I just not know math? That doesn't help us either. The only thing that's missing is. this pearl, right? Because we've got... Well, even that's not missing, it's associated with the number. We've got all the colors and all the numbers. This is weird. Maybe I will cycle through and just see what happens then. It's a really cool looking room. I'm just gonna put it over here and see what happens. Now we've got a green emerald. Which I don't think we have green yet, right? Okay, cool. So now we're getting new stuff. It might be blissful, which would be six. I need to move this back over here. <laughs> the puzzle is to notice how cool the room is. Your prize is you get to look at a cool room. I love it. I gotta make this window a little bigger. I, do you all like want to keep looking at this? We've never seen anything about an emerald. Let's put it on this side. So now we have six on one, nine on the other. And now if I get through it once, I'll have more info. This looks like the white diamond. The white diamond is, oh, now you can't see what I'm doing. Um, purity is seven. So I can put it on the side with nine or the side with six. I have a calculator app open too. <laughs> What's 13 minus nine, four. So we'll hope, for, but we've already used four. But we could hope for a three and a one. This is awful. Or we could put it with... Math stream! No, my weakness! There's a reason I don't play math games. The puzzle was a time. We could do... I'm erasing the seven from here.
We could do 16 on one side, and then we need to find a way to make 10 on the other. We could do not 8 and 2. It's going to be weird without 2, 3, 1, without knowing those. Make a necklace out of them, yeah. Number munchers? What's number munchers? <laughs> Reminds me of FPS games I've played. Gameplay and story are kind of meh, but skybox. Nice. Forget solving the puzzle, take all the giant gems, and now you're hella rich. Nice. Alright, well let's... Let's at least get through all the gems. The crystal gems! If I do- I already forgot. Hang on. Also, I need some water. Oh, okay. Cool. Elementary school floppy disk apple education game. If we hope for a 3 and a 1 to magically appear, then we can put it on the side with the 6. Because if we do 4, 5, 3, 1, it would still be 13. We'll just do that. Red Ruby! It's not a three or a one. Oh, Zima, thanks! I don't know where Duncan is. We'll- we'll get him in here. Um... Ruby is... Passionate. Which is eight. If I add it to the left, I can get 21, it's a good number, and then I still have 12 left on the right, and if I want to get 12, I can use which of the remaining numbers? Nine and three, which we're not sure if that exists. Eight and four, but we've already used a four. Seven and five, but we've already used a five and we can't use six and six. We could use six, five and one, six, two and, no, how does that work? Whatever. Six, two and three and one. I just keep putting things on the left side of the scale hoping it'll work out. What if I put it on the right side? Let me figure this one out and then we'll get Duncan. I didn't forget. We get 17 on the right side. We would need another 4 on the left to get it balanced, but maybe we do that. Median and mode would give us a better picture, I don't know. Hi Esper, how's it going? Okay, I'm in decisive on where to put the ruby. Let's- let's do our Duncan treats break. 
Okay, I think I'm just gonna run through the rest of these and see what happens. I think it's time for science! I don't know. It's weird that it doesn't... It's weird that no matter how you... Split it, you can't get an even split. And... Maybe there's colors I don't have the information for yet. And maybe... Maybe it gives you, like... A bunch, sorry, I just spaced out. Maybe it gives you like multiples of the same stone. I spaced out because we we weigh we weigh a certain amount as well. So maybe you have to be off by like one, and then we tip the scale. What does our heart weigh? Do we have a? Courageous heart? Is it something not listed? I don't know that we've ever been told that our heart is or isn't a certain way. There's only one with a pure heart. That's talking about the puzzle with the dancers. Yeah, I don't know. The hesitation in thy heart is an unseen wound. Shine upon it with the eye of truth. Those climbing the tower never turn back. Nope, that's a that's about that enemy. Never mind. Okay. Alright. I'm sorry. I'm floundering. What is this if I put it? Okay. I just want to see if there's any new stones. This looks like blue, which is, is, are they going completely in order? Affection, yeah, they went four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I would, I think I think if I wanted to do my theory for me weighing one, I did the wrong thing. Because if we do... Oh, never mind. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I don't mind math puzzles, but I don't like public math puzzles. Duncan, no, you can't be on the computer desk. Get down. It's not something I can do while I'm distracted, and streaming is literally pure distraction. Go! Go, Duncan! Goodbye! Hi, Jaeger. Welcome in. How's it going? I had a train of thought, and now I... lost it. I've got my calculator on one side. Eh, whatever. I don't know if Duncan's good at math. <laughs> he knows when I miss a single calorie from his meals, he can tell. Not enough. But yeah, it gave us four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we weigh Oh, I should have paid attention when I balanced it to how much I offset it by. So before this it was at six and seven on the left, four and five on the right. And I jumped on the right, and I think 
that balanced it. So maybe we weigh four, maybe. I'd have to test it again. Duncan's heart weighs nothing for he is a super good boy. He's the best. Unless, unless the first gem that drops actually does weigh something. Let's do it again. <laughs> but we learned that it gives us the ones that are in the journal, it seems to give us 0, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which is the only ones that I have information for. Actually, why are these still here? You can just keep pressing them? What if I carry a certain number of weights from the store? Does that change it? I don't think so. This is very funny. Okay, we're finally resetting it. This is so interesting though. Oh, we think it was six. Six is the only one. The emerald is the only one I don't have info info for yet, it seems. Also, what happens if you go into that puzzle without enough weights? That's so cruel. And you are in the middle of it and you just run out? Oh my god. This game... Okay, let's try it again, but assume we have an extra four to spare. Would have been a great reset mechanism, solve the puzzle or have enough weights in your pockets to fix it. I love it. Um, so if this changes it to I'll test this theory, I guess. I'll try. Jim, welcome in. How's it going? Thanks for the hello. I keep having to show this and then like tab in and out of the notes page. I'm just trying to show my work. Surprise question, Trine and Mother was probably the cruelest thing I've seen in the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one wasn't my favorite. So if we do... Six plus seven plus eight plus nine, we get 43. So that doesn't work either. <laughs> right? Maybe I don't know actually how much I weigh. Let's try this again. Yeah, that doesn't even look like it tips the scale at all, so it seems like zero. And you can hear the noise when it's balanced. Maybe. So if this is four... Eloquent Black Onyx... I think it just looks cool when they're black and white on either side. See, but now that looks balanced. Weird. Uh, 
and this is five. Maybe I should do it the same as I did last time, just to see what it was I thought I was seeing. Does that make any sense? Do we weigh nine? This pearly one has to be, it's not pearl, it's something else maybe? <laughs> I gotta clear it again. I'm so bad at this. Let's If we weigh nine, we can we can perhaps maybe make that work maybe. It's at least an even number. This is, has my brain. It's fine. It's it's just like the the quickness of mental math and stuff doesn't come to me. It's not that I can't do it, and we just we don't even know. And I don't want to know from chat yet if I even need like more information. I feel like we might have everything we need. or kilos? Yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> How to split this into... Wait, what's 24 minus 9? 15 and 24. So then what's... Oh. Okay, so if we do 15 on one side with the 7 and the 8, and on the other side we do 4, 5, 6, 9, That's 24. If I get this right, and we do in fact weigh 9, which I wonder if it has anything to do with like what age you are or what type of children you are based on the eras. I don't know, don't answer that. Probably overthinking it, but let's try it. So we're looking for, we've got four, five, six, which is going to be this green. And then pure diamond is seven. And then red, passionate. Ruby is eight.
and we've got another nine that goes here. Oops, the blue sapphire. And then I should balance this? No. I wanted so badly for it to work. It looks like it's balanced. Yeah, it's you can see based off the line that goes through. Off by a pixel. That was fun though. Maybe then Trav, hi, welcome in. How's it going? Maybe, so, the one time I jumped and it looked even and it felt like it was even, it probably wasn't. I mean, this time definitely wasn't even, but the first time when I was like, wait, what was that? It probably wasn't even then either, which does make me wonder... If it looked like I weighed nine, maybe I weigh... seven because of that one scale in Mausoleum. Oh, but nine was... nine was helpful because it made it an even number, but seven is also gonna make it an even number. Seven would make it... Forty-six. How do we make that work? How many pixels it sinks if we dump everything on one side? I do kind of just like playing with this puzzle. It's a cool, it's a cool room. It's a cool design. Okay, what's 23 minus 9 is 14, so we could do 14. I played number munchers and I'm ready to solve the puzzle, nice. Fourteen and nine is twenty-three, right? <laughs> yes. And then what remains would be... Four, five, six, eight. Okay. Now it just feels like there's a bunch of ways to do this and I'm grasping at straws. But this will... Mm, how can I test this? I can do the puzzle once with... But you can't ever do the puzzle with just seven on the scale because four is the first stone that pops out. I know, with all the junk in our pockets, that was, that's what we were talking about. Like, I should just go buy some more weights. And then it would work. Oh, I need to press OK. Alright, we're gonna try one more time, and then we're going to move along. <laughs> no, I got hit by a bat! Oh, but it's nice because you at least land on this screen no matter what. La Mulana's good today, Trav. We made a lot of progress, and now we've got this cool puzzle room with all of the cool stuff that I decoded from, uh, 
lore tablets. Tr the ones I translated about hearts and numbers and gemstones. It's finally coming in handy. Alright, we've also got this weird one that weighs nothing. I think. See, it doesn't, it doesn't weigh nothing. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. Thank you, Jim. I know, math is stumping me too. Maybe this, oh, I don't know. Now I've lost all hope. This is supposed to weigh nothing. All right, we're gonna try it anyways. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. That one's off because of whatever the physicists in chat crying, yeah. Whatever the pearl weighs. Maybe the pearl weighs actually one. Maybe it's not a pearl. Maybe it's... Maybe it is an opal and we don't have any information about opals yet. Please don't cry. <laughs> It'll be okay. Lamelon is not known for its accurate physics. Okay. How... what else do I have? The joyful heart is zero. The joyful heart is pearly white. White, black, purple green we think i think you all know but that's what i am totally guessing the pure heart is white the passionate heart is red the affectionate heart is blue because we've got sapphire down here onyx amethyst and diamond but the one that looks like... White diamond represents purity. So I've been putting it here with pure heart. Pure heart is seven. And it goes in order. After this first one, which says it's supposed to be zero. Hi, Calmist. Welcome in. This is big spoilers. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, Mac, hi, welcome and how are you? Apparently the average human male heart weighs around 283 grams, 0.625 pounds. Nice. I'm not listening or looking. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fair. Um. Oh. At least I hope it's spoilers. If you've passed me, so be it. <laughs> That's fine too. Doing alright, just got home from work and ready to relax with a puzzle. We picked a doozy. I'm thinking there's... there's... Hmm. Where's my clue about balancing besides...
besides those notes. He who possesses wisdom wields ultimate power. When the two are in balance, power will be thine own. Art thou all knowing? If thou deems thyself ready, proceed to balance the spirits. Need to go fix my sink, but we'll see if I get to that. Good luck if you do. Sounds stressful. There's only one with a pure heart. That's the only other thing we have about pure... Purity. Hmm. I'm looking, I'm still looking at this obsidian stuff. What else do I have about hearts? Oops. Pierce her heart in my stead. That was the Moonlight Temple one. Yeah. Her smile fade. It seems like, when I did that, it seemed like with nine, when I thought we weighed nine, that was too much. When I thought we weighed seven, oh, I would have to do it, I, I'd have to watch the VOD, I'd have to do it all over again because the zero thing, the zero jo jewel really throws me off. And like, If I sit there and balance the scale and it's even, which I don't know if it is with four, five on one side and myself and the pearl on the other side, me plus the pearl is balanced. So I guess if it is, we just take the rest of the puzzle with nine and nine and then balance with the rest of the remaining jewels. What would that give me? But, I, but I'd have to go look, because I don't even know if that's true or not. Eat too much curry in the morning? Yeah. I found graveyard! Nice! That's awesome. Sure, some kind of philosopher magic that makes its soul weight and unaffected by all the curry. Yeah, it's the balancing of spirits. And this just goes to nine. So then if we have six, seven, eight, nine remaining. It gives you 30. Because you can do... But you can't... You can do six and nine and seven and eight. I feel like we already tried something to that effect. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, we we did try that already, and that wasn't it. So that's not that's not it. This this attempt was me, La Mesa, seven and eight, whatever this one is, four, five, six, nine. No. 
This was also. No. You gotta give us a hat. Okay, not my best. <laughs> Okay. Um, that was fun. <laughs> I do like it. I want to mess with it some more. I want to find more tablets to translate. I want to look through my notes for like courage, wisdom to see how much those weigh? <laughs> Hunter, welcome in. How's it going? And why does the scale in the mausoleum tell me 6 1? And where do I find the clue about emeralds? Don't answer that. But this room is super interesting. Whee! Scales of the heart. I am gonna look really quick in my notes for... Wisdom. The fifth child had wisdom. Overcome with courage and wisdom. There's a million references to it in Gate of Illusion. You who possess great wisdom and courage should know. Free me from my secret of life. <sighs> he who possesses wisdom wields ultimate power. When the two are in balance, power will be thine own. Thanks for thanking the mods. Thanks, Jim. Shrine devoted to courageous men. The last mantra is the sign of courage. Tiamat's dimensional powers. Thou shalt not make it with thine power. Return if faced with a task beyond fairy's power. Maybe we go see the fairies. I'm reading through. I can. I mean, I. Do, I feel like it's not super useful to show this, but I guess I'm just reading through where power is now. And then whatever I wrote today is not in here yet, which was a lot. All this was today. Prove thy knowledge. If thy spirit is balanced and just, the power shall be granted. Power of life. Water powers the tower. Call forth the power of the twins. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. He's not gonna tell me anything. 
And it's interesting because that puzzle only opens once you read the tablet. So I don't know how Mulbrook would know that it's open other than I talked to that philosopher, which I think we already talked to her after talking to that philosopher. You know what I mean? I don't know what I want to do next. I haven't given up on that puzzle, but... I don't know if I want to spend all of stream sitting and looking at it, you know what I mean? And I don't know if I'm ready for confirmation yet of whether or not I have all the pieces. Mantras. Let's go, um, let's go over here. It'll be there, yeah. The game is bananas. Oh my gosh, Snail, it's... It's so much. I love it. But, um... It's a lot. I wish I knew what this was for. But I don't yet. Hmm. Can I ask just like a very general question, which is that there's still a lot of stuff, a lot, more than one thing open to me right now. I know that's not a good question, but I'm looking for like a feeling, like an affirmation that we're not at a dead end, like a one, one puzzle only spot. Yeah, safe word. Multiple things to do. Wonderful. Now, where I want to go from there... <laughs> questionable. Embrace the power. If thou seeketh power, prove the courage. It's what we're trying to do. I don't remember... I don't remember ever seeing a mural of the doll, the woman statue, except for in that one place. Oh, let's go, um... Let's go to village really quickly and go look at that statue just because I like to revisit it every once in a while. And we have one new item. <laughs> We like to revisit it, and the map says that this is, that there's an entrance here. New item to show off to everyone and everything. It's a woman. <laughs> a 
Lameza, what are you doing? Maybe we go walk around for a while and see if we can find our dad. Maybe now that we got all this lore about... Okay, new idea. We got a bunch of lore about the Shrine of the Mother from the Philosophers, which is like a key game update. So maybe we just hang out here for a minute to see if we see our dad or a new animation or something. I, I even wonder if you can show this to the... To not the mother, to whoever this is. Nope, they don't care. But it's something about the wedges. Something about breaking wedges with your heels. Okay, don't knock me off the ledge, please. Thank you. Everybody here does a lot more damage than anywhere else. And this, this part is a maze. I never remember if there actually is a way around this. I kind of want to go the other way. How do how else do I get up here through this? Got McDonald's for breakfast and the shake they gave me is soft serve with too much added vanilla. Oh man, I love McDonald's shakes. I forget. Oh, it's here. It's the water place. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Hi, Tal. There's so many. We're in the midst of... I don't know, I got a bunch of new items and we got into a new area of the... A new room on the map. Like a really tricky new puzzle. But I'm having trouble solving it. So we decided to take a break and come here. <laughs> what do I usually do for this? This is so silly. Probably shuriken. I definitely think I've... The the axe is weird because it like... Stuns... Instead of doing damage. Okay, we got this puzzle already. Oh, and the music for this game is incredible. If you've never... If you don't know anything about La Mulana, I would say... Cool maps and music. Do I want to go this way? This is where... This is already... No, this is not where I want to go. I want to go over here. The secret to making McDonald's milkshake is they use milk powder, carrage carrageenan, locust bean, and guar gum to get the thick consistency. Fascinating. I don't really- I actually must have come in from another entrance to get to some of these other rooms that I've seen. Because I don't remember how to get to... Where does Shrine of the Mother go? Endless Corridor? Ooh. Dying in ridiculous ways is a good description, yes. Bedtime for me. Have a lush stream. Night, everyone. Thank you for the warmth and friendliness. Have a good sleep. Thanks again for the raid. We'll see you around. I almost never get ice cream from McDonald's because they always say the machine is broken. It's a crime. Is the only way to get down to that other entrance the long way through? Corridor? I'm not doing that. Ah. 
What else did I want to check? Labyrinth. I'm not doing that for, like, zero... The, my reason is a hunch because I feel like it. If I actually had a more definitive reason to go in that way, sure. I think there's a whole documentary on YouTube about why McDonald's ice cream machine is always broken. Really? <laughs> Fascinating. Oh wait, this is a shrine of the mother entrance? Oh, but that's the one that's like a single room, I think. This is what I was looking for. It has skulls. We can try our new item. But no luck. We've tried this here, I think? Yeah. Locust bean is just carob seeds? Interesting. Johnny Harris video, not a documentary, but probably still good. I'd watch it. I want to learn about McDonald's ice cream. Ugh. Twin labyrinths, please. Please stop. Oh, this room. Our favorite. How come this is still red? Is it because I had to translate it? This is about the different beasts. You say I have multiple places I can go, but... <laughs> it's so hard to backtrack. I know what we were doing. We were working on, um... The Philosophers. There's a Philosopher I haven't met yet. And there's a room in Tower of the Ruins that seems like it might be where the Philosopher resides. But if there's a lore tablet for a clue for that room, I'm going to need a reminder of what lore tablet it is, because I have no idea what to do in there. Hmm... Wisdom is... Buried within the wall. I think I have this. I definitely have this. Hold high the emblem of proof before the palace guarded by Hell's gatekeeper. No. Yes? Was there more after this that I didn't write down in this clue? Is this glowing letters? Glowing letters? Okay. Shine through the darkness, the wind wisdom is fact, the virtual wise man. Okay, I just needed to fix my notes because it didn't match this. Oh. Weird. I've read that before. But then I must have died. <laughs> Classic.
when do I have a save? I have a quick save warping here. Yeah, it's fine. Suddenly tablets. I need to sit a little different. And we're getting a break soon. My breaks got a little off today. That's fine. Children's room. Whoa. Cool. This looks fun. <laughs> I just have this whole page of numbers scattered about. The shining pillars are the child's feelings. The glowing feelings of the dancing child. The reason that the feelings shine. Oops. Indy. Oh, you'll be heading off once break starts. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, I think I'm gonna write this and then we'll take our last break for the stream. Oh, please don't tell me chaos. I didn't ask Safe Word about this. I, I appreciate that there's more info, but I, I don't want anything given away yet. In a very strange treasure. And I know, like, just a reminder, if I say something that's wrong, like, oh, this appeared because I read whatever, it's, it's not... It's only an invitation to correct me if there's an irreversible save file, like, Jen, don't go any further, wait, we need to make a save file. That's, like, pretty much the only time. Um, it's probably something inconsequential, like, I get that, too. Some of the stuff is just not, it's not gonna affect the outcome. That is weak, yet unbending. If the treasure disappears... If everything disappears all at once, the child will be saddened and its spirit will cloud over. I leave this behind and pass it down to preserve the child's spirit, okay? The reason the feelings shine lies in a very strange treasure. The wonderful treasure that is weak, yet unbending. The treasure disappears. If everything disappears all at once, the child will be saddened and its spirit will cloud over. I leave this behind and pass it down to preserve the child's spirit. And then we've got a picture of... Somebody with this pose with an orb, and an orb, and an orb, and an orb, and an orb. And they're wearing cool clothes, but I'm not gonna draw them. They're just a naked stick figure. Whoever was given the task of carving these really wanted to express themselves. Yeah, hi Dronin. 
I leave this behind and pass it down to preserve the child's spirit. Uh oh, this sounds like the beginning of an unfortunate slapstick. There's three of these? Okay, we're gonna take our break and then we're gonna keep riding. Yay, riding! All right. Thank you for your patience with me. Thank you for enjoying this journey with me and chat and sharing your 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 shared joy over this strange strange game. It's certainly something. Let's read about lizards. Oh, I should put um gate of illusions. The Wandering Lizard cast off the light. Unable to bear it and cast it off. The light he cast off was the light of his spirit. Lamenting his ugly appearance. Oh, I'm running out of pencil lead. This one's too short. It keeps getting pushed back into the pencil. His ugly appearance. He cast it off. When the light returns to the lizard. Uh, lig lig light returns to the lizard. The pillar of light. Will disappear. Will, yeah. Not disperse, although similar. But not the same. I leave this behind and pass it down. Because I understand how the lizard felt, <laughs> okay? Lizard empathy. And then we get a picture of a lizard with a square. That looks like that part in, uh, that glowing diamond that I keep examining. Oh, that looks like a duck. Hang on. It also kind of looks like the butterfly meme. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Is this a puzzle? Exactly. Handling Argonian racism better than Elder Scrolls? Lizards! Okay. These are so long. The grieving bird cast a spell without the mother's knowledge. So the mistakes would not be repeated and the cycle of sadness would end. The large bird cast a spell. Should the bird die, the spell shall break and the pillar of light shall disperse. I leave this behind and pass it down in the same state of mind as the bird with the face.
without mother's knowledge. So mistakes would not be repeated. Cycle of sadness would end. A large bird cast a spell. Should the bird die, the spell shall break. Oh, light shall disappear. Behind and pass it down. The same state of mind as the bird with the face. Big wings. And little legs, and little bird feet, legs, bird feet, tail, face. Bird person. How'd I do? <laughs> Close enough. Come back here. Bat. Harvey Birdman. What does it all mean? It reminds me of the pillars. Pillars in this room, right? I mean, maybe? Whoa! Wait, okay, this is- they were talking about a bird with a hand, and we broke the hand, but there was never a bird. Until now. Creepy. These pillars, maybe. I want to go save. Oops, I almost fell. I almost fell completely. What are you up to? You seem fun. <laughs> Just hanging out. Oh, don't fall through the trap door. <laughs> Dang. What a room. Their eyes track you? That's super creepy. Oops. I fell. Okay, I want to do something else.
No, I hate this room. I'm gonna skip it. This room. The wandering lizard cast off the light, unable to bear it. He cast it off. The light he cast off was the light of his spirit. Lamenting his ugly appearance, he cast it off. When the light returns to the lizard, the pillar of light will disappear. I leave this behind and pass it down because I understand how the lizard felt. Lizard, is it is it yours? Do you need to come down those stairs? I don't know how to push that block out of the way for you, though. Maybe that's not where I start. Can you get free from this room? Gate of Illusion is pretty creepy, I would say yes. You have a point. Oh, what if I just make it so that you can- yeah, okay, now come down here. Come hang out and get this lizard square. No, don't climb those. How do I make it go this way? <laughs> Come over here! I want this lizard to hold up the light that's in the wall. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it didn't do anything. <laughs> well, now what? It went by it again. And, oh, not again. Brighter colors, full spectrum lights, maybe some potted plants. One of those community book nooks. Just a little redecorating. Oh my god. Please! Well, I don't know. I wish it would come get its little light. Maybe that's not the right lizard. We have a serpent staff. <laughs> I know I've used this here already. I don't like these enemies. Okay, I want to go back to that other room. Not this one. I want to go back to... This room. Leave me alone, lizards! The children... This one has this same pose. A wonderful treasure...
Wait, the shining pillars are the child's feelings, the glowing feelings of a dancing child. The reason that the feelings shine lies in a very strange treasure. A wonderful treasure that is weak, yet unbending. If the treasure disappears, if everything disappears all at once, the child would be saddened and its spirit will cloud over. I gotta break all of the pots at the same time. I don't know how to do that. Is- are the pots in the same place that the circles are? It seems like they are. And they stay gone if I go up here. Pot friend. Oops. It's a good emote. Now, clouded over is different than disappearing. We can go check two things. We can go check here. Where nothing changed. Or we can check the lizard room. Because maybe you have to do them all in a row. Maybe I ruined it by warping out of this room. I didn't mean to save there. Doesn't seem like anything has changed. Oh, <gasps> just kidding. I broke it. Instead of scanning it, I broke it. Okay, now we gotta get the lizard into the light. Oh, no! I killed the lizard! No, dude! I hope that's a YouTube short. Well, I gotta stop saving. Just ask the right questions. Oh my god. Oh, phew, the lizard is back. Thank lizard. What, what were we talking about earlier? Lizard empathy? <laughs> Whoops. Also, hi, Dama. One step forward, one step sideways into a totally different disaster, such as this game. Step into the light! Oh, it's gonna take forever to get him into the light. It's okay, don't be afraid. Okay, where are you going? It's fine. That was so cool! It actually was something! Ooh, la, 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 la. Finally, the mysterious diamond-shaped thingy. Okay, I'm gonna quick save again, because I think I would like to. Oh, look at that health trade-off at the perfect moment! And it made the noise. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Uh... The pillar of light will disappear. Ooh. 
let's go check these ones and, I don't know, check some other stuff. And then we gotta fight a bat. It's not these, though. Oh, no, there's a switch now. There's a switch. Nice. One step closer. Now I gotta fight. Now I gotta fight you. I'm gonna go quick save again. <laughs> It's a bird, but it does not look like a bird to me. It's a bird with a face. Yes. 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 Thank you for the follow. Yes. I appreciate it. Welcome in. It's been a long day for me, so I'm gonna go sleep. Thanks for stream. Have a lot of fun with the rest of it. and See you tomorrow. Thanks, Daxon. Have a good sleep. I hope you get some good rest. We'll be wrapping up soon-ish, probably. Third of the way to getting the chest. The secret of life. That's a lot of pressure. I don't like the way this arena is looking, but I'm gonna try my best. Oh, that doesn't do... Oh, it's so many volleys of so many missiles. <laughs> oh god, no! I should have died there. Or I should have fallen off. You know I love shurikens. Too low. You're too low. I thought breaking the hand was supposed to be a good thing. It gave us this shortcut. What other weapons do I have? The gun. Bird or human bird bat hybrid. Yeah, it's a it's a creepy looking enemy. Maybe we try some flares if I can change my strategy. Ugh. No. No. Ugh. Chakram are less valuable now. Yeah. I should buy more. I still have like five. I have ten. But I'm sure they do more than the um shuriken. Let's reset so I can get my ammo back. The shortcut is really nice. Imagine having to re-enter through the tower. Oh yeah, that would be awful. Oops. I don't think um, axe is the way to go with it being slower. I could always buy more shuriken. Or I could cave and use the gun, which is what I almost did. Spikes. I don't think all of those are landing. This is, um, extremely frustrating. Nope. What about going above and using earth spears. Rude. Rude. Get out of here. I'm too slow with the flare timing. No! 
Oh, you bastard. <laughs> you little punk. <laughs> I can't even hit you with these. Rolling shuriken, I think, is the move. Come on! Nope. Ah! That was too close. Too close for comfort. This fight is dumb. I'm using the gun. We're too far along in this playthrough for me to be doing boss fight things. I just want to do puzzle things. That's completely illogical. Stop hiding in the wall. Coward. Coward. <laughs> the valid use of gun, yeah. This fight sucks. Last time I did it, I shot him too. Screw this boss, yeah. We'll give it one more go, but then... It's gun time. I will reset before I use it because I want my ammo back. Stop. <gasps> Finally, it actually did something. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it with... Well, we'll see. With the gun, because... You have to, you know, stay on screen for long enough. Obviously, that is important. What if you just shoot the bat, the bird, from the get-go while it's still sleeping? <laughs> I don't think that does anything. You can get- it's not hitless because you can get hit and still land on a corner platform? But one hit in the wrong direction and game over. Uh, yeah, the shortcut makes it much more forgiving than some of the other fights, though. I forgot to load my gun. Great. I'm hitting your projectiles. There we go. Woolaloo. No regrets. <laughs> oh, the money fell. That's okay. I need to go- I need to grind for money off stream anyways. Be fun if there was a solid floor instead of Plinko pegs. Yeah. It's an interesting one. Alright, almost there. Not getting the money is the norm. Yeah, I, uh, I'm curious. I'm not curious. If there's a strat for that, it seems like a really specific scenario where you would really be relying on that money from that fight. Oh yeah, I was supposed to look at my drawing. These... Things are not all in the same place as the drawing. So, like in the drawing, there's an orb here, there's an orb like here. This one's weird. Two thirds of the way there. <laughs> the chest better have something cool. We'll see. It's only the secret of life. It can't be that cool. A wonderful treasure that is weak yet unbending. 
which makes me think brittle, which makes me think porcelain. I've been lurking today because of mental health blip, but I wanted to say I adore you all. Thank you for being here. No, you llama. I hope it gets better. Mental health blech. It just seems to be the mood lately. Um, thanks for hanging with us. Thank you, mods. Mod love. You already found Holy Grail. How much cooler can whatever you find be? It's the best item. Still. It holds up. That is a pepper. Weak yet unbending makes me think brittle porcelain treasure pots, but the picture, there is one here. There isn't one here. And they're round. And the treasure... If this treasure disappears, if everything disappears all at once, the child will be saddened and its spirit will cloud over. Found Fruit of Eden, look where that got you! Exactly! Seems promising. I mean, we still have it. The fruit itself is fine. <laughs> this room I don't understand. Game combines so many ancient civilization ornaments in interesting ways. Yeah, it somehow works. It tries to do so much and somehow it ends up coming together. What if I, um, no, that won't work. I was like, what, what if I start a rolling shuriken across the floor, and then as it's about to hit the pot, I use flares to get the other ones at the same time? I don't think the puzzle is to break all the pots. But it's something in this room. I'm gonna read this one again. Wisdom, something about wisdom in a wall. Hold high the emblem of proof before the palace guarded by Hell's gatekeeper. Glowing letters will shine through the darkness. The wisdom is in fact the virtual wise man, the keeper of the mantra. I don't think- I don't think this has to do with this room. You want this? Oop, wait, I fell. Hang on, hang on. Ask Zelpud, Mulbrook, and Fairy Queen, and I Heart Fraud Guy. All of us together can get it. Okay, do you want this? This is Room of Children. Do you want... a mother statue? What about some pepper? Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's 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 so close. But it's getting late. But it feels so close. I'm gonna go read the other tablet again. I keep forgetting I can't walk through there. Is this like the the leaning tower puzzle? Make it fall over. Oops. The glowing feelings of the dancing child. The reason the feelings shine lies in a very strange treasure.
if the treasure disappears, everything disappears all at once, the child will be saddened and its spirit will cloud over. I remember there being an eye in here. Oh no. I want the pots to respawn, I guess. What glowing? What glowing? What letters? What... Shining feelings? What strange treasure? Weak yet unbending. <laughs> we should play it some music. Nope. Earth wind and fire. Do you want to listen to Bonga Wanga? Is there a song about children? No. Wise men? Virtual wise man. Okay, I'm stalling. I don't know what to do here. keep falling off the tip of the hand. This is a circle. <laughs> and there's circles in the picture. I'm so tired of getting bullied by everything. I want to play this game without any enemies in it. <laughs> Only maps and puzzles, please. Thank you. Yeah, they're just boring, plain circles. so far off camera. I don't know what it is. Thanks for the posture check. <laughs> for me and all of chat. And I'm gonna drink some water too. A hydrate on the house. Bean garden, everybody hydrate! Hydrate all the humans! Thanks for watering the bean garden and showing off all your channel points. <laughs> so many channel point redemptions! <laughs> Trav, can you... Does the vertical flip thing work... Or no, the horizontal flip thing work for... These? No. It only works for BTTV. But you can redeem modify a single emote, right? I'm gonna do it. Modify an emote. Oh, you can't modify follower emotes? Why not? Aww. 
I want the- I want so badly for the watering can to go from the other side so that, like, the direction of the rain is the same. Oh well. I'm stalling. Um... If the treasure disappears... If everything disappears all at once... Maybe, uh, maybe we just, we go on a little walk for a second here and look for other rooms with treasures in them. Ooh, I almost hit the spikes. You could flip the cat. Oh, right, that's a far better solution. There, I love it, it's perfect. Okay. I'm thinking about this room. We haven't been in here in a minute. This is- oh, is there like- you know what I also haven't done is look at room names. There's little- literal rooms called the treasury. And then we'll probably have to wrap up. It's time. We're, we're back again tomorrow. I can't play too much. I don't want to get burned out. Burned out. Cog of Life, Children's Room, Bird Room, Fool's Confusion Corridor, Chapel, Sacred Lake of the Sky, Entrance, Lizard's Room, Sacrificial Abyss, Mausoleum of Fairies, Door to Guidance, and Chio's Room. Oh, let's go back into the room with the screaming. That sounds fun. Also, maybe the fairy is the treasure. Loot fairy? Oh god. Why am I bringing you over here? I don't know. You won't get burnt out, you have ice cape. <laughs> Aha! That makes so much sense. Oh, that was close, I almost didn't make it! Oh god. No! Oh. The panic, the pure panic. Okay, I brought the fairy in here. I don't know that this will do anything, but it seemed like a cool thing to do. Oh, also I should be smashing all these pots. Oh, she's already gone. Dang. What was I thinking? Okay, we're going to the screaming room. How do I get back there? From here? From... nope, I remember. From here. I don't think this is the solution, but we're over here, so I want to check it out. Because we haven't been back in a little bit. And it's just a weird room. I just feel like that's where all the maidens used to hang out or something. The ones who died to Chiyo. And I thought maybe something new would happen in there, but not yet. It's not time yet. Okay, let's go to the puddle. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out today. Is 
so many weird things equipped right now. We did make a lot of progress. We have another philosopher to find. We have a scales of the heart. <laughs> Faith of the heart puzzle to solve. We have this puzzle to get the secret of life. We have someday <laughs> uh someday I'm losing it. Someday we'll find all the Holy Grail stuff and then we'll get the Holy Grail powers. I've annihilated six guardians. We've got Pal Palenque and Tiamat left. I fought Vi and the other one of the second half. Vi was the eye. Oh, and Baphomet. How could I forget Baphomet? Okay. I just wanted to go talk to- Oh wait, there's one more friend we gotta talk to. Can you help me? Nah. Not yet. <laughs> okay. We're using... 1-3. This one is heart scale attempts, anything prior to the heart scale. That's what this save is. I'm like afraid to save over it just in case, so I'm gonna do 1 4. Making excellent progress, thanks. I'm trying. Um, this is Gate of Illusion puzzle. I'm just gonna call it that. I don't want to rush through the game. I am trying to make a little more headway, but, you know, we'll see. I, I had a week of streams this week that I could dedicate to La Mulana, so that's what we're doing. <laughs>